if you want to talk to me, you got to schedule it with me. Even, you know what I mean? Like, even family text me first, I'll call you when I'm finished working. You can't just do that because I'm locked in on that dream. So you got to really kill all the distractions, you know what I mean? Headed to the top, they ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids, own property. Bubble eye beans that look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred though. Cause that's all it takes. Don't oh, flash it for I'm on my grind, not no more fashion show. I'm Melrica. Um, any advice on maintaining that vision? You know, at times that you may get blurred or not be motivated, what's your advice to maintaining that vision? I like to say, uh, I like to say, and I, and I think a little different. So I like to say distractions show that you are focused. And the reason why distractions are there is because you're distracted to something that you're focused on. So a lot of times when we find that we are distracted, why do we see that we've been distracted? Why we not say, darn, I'm back focused? And so to keep you on that vision, keep knowing that you always are focused, even though you are being distracted, because distraction is a part of your focus. Uh, and, and also, don't be, uh, don't, 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 um, don't be so hard as if you're focusing on one thing and the things beside you start to fall apart. And the reason that I say that is because uh, when you're going for your vision, you're going for your goal, it's things on the side, like, like, like relationships or or, or, or other business ventures, or some things that might look like they're falling apart, but you gotta push through it. You gotta keep going. Those are to push you that way. Those things are to show you that hey, I want that what I want. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't care if that fall. I don't want it to fall, but I want that more. And so a lot of times, that thing that you think that's maybe falling on the side is just to help you to go through it, so you can pick it up further. And uh, I say that because when I was doing uh, real estate. Um, I, uh, I transitioned to do, to, to do a couple properties and, and my cleaning business was falling. Like I was, cause, cause I had to focus on finding this and this was my first time doing it. And so I, I knew so much head knowledge and I read so many books, but I didn't have the experience. So I had to focus a little bit and then it lo I lost focus over on my cleaning business, you know? And so I was like, man, I, I, I didn't know. It, was, it, it got to a point that I can only move through, through God. God was the only thing. I had so much stress going because this deal had to go through. I had so much riding on this. Like my whole existence of everything that I put together is riding on this one move. And if it don't fall through, I feel like I, I, like I don't know how I'm gonna bounce back. And so I got to where I was, I was panicking and stuff. I, I, I was gonna call the whole deal off. I'm like, man, I don't want to go through this. My, I just couldn't do it. I had to pray. I mean, I'm talking about for real, for real type. Like, it's, it was that much riding on this. And then when it went through, it just, the nice looking all good. So I say, man, when you we feel like that, that, that vision, you just got to keep knowing that you're on that vision. Even though your distractions, you got to know that's a, part of the, that's a part of the vision. The distractions are there. They, they there for you to realize that you want that vision that much more. I just want to add to that a little bit, too, while we look and see if anybody else got any questions. Okay, but I just wanted to add to that real quick, too. I'm real intentional about like killing these distractions, right? So, for example, my phone is on silent almost all day, every day. You know what I mean? You can't, can't anybody just call me? You know what I mean? My, my time be blocked out. If you want to talk to me, you got to schedule it with me. Even, you know what I mean? Like, even family text me first, I'll call you when I'm finished working. You can't just do that because I'm locked in on that dream. So, you got to really kill all the distractions, you know what I mean? Like, if I feel myself on social media too much, I'll unfollow every single person on there outside of my wife, her business, and my business. You know what I mean? That's it. So that way, when I get on there, if the only thing I see is what I just posted, I'm going to get right back off because ain't nothing to see here. You know what I mean? I know what I put up there. You know what I mean? So, like, you got to get so, like, disciplined. It's really disciplined. You know what I mean? You got to get disciplined with it. You got to just make up in your mind, look, I want this. Me knowing what my cousin ate early on Facebook ain't gonna help me get to this. Unfollow. I'm sorry, I don't follow absolutely nobody on Facebook, mama, daddy, nobody. If it hurt their feelings, I think that's something wrong with them. It shouldn't hurt your feelings. You know I love you, you know what I mean, when I see you in person, right? Me on social media shouldn't have anything to do with our real relationship in real life. So make sure you kill your distractions. Go on your, in your social media, and I'm picking on social media because most of our time wasters, right? Look at the time that you're spending on it. It'll tell you how long you spend on there, Mine ain't no more than 30 minutes a day, you know what I mean? And if I'm slacking, maybe 55 minutes, I think, is the most I've seen it. 
Like, make sure you check that and make sure you're not on it. I post a lot, but I'm not on it. That's auto-publishing apps that we got going on. That's yeah, you know what I mean, put stuff together for me. You know what I mean? That's, so just make sure you really get intentional about what you got to do for the day, schedule your time, and kill everything else. You know what I mean? You get to the rest of that stuff after hours on the weekends. So you got to treat your business like it's a job. Same way you went to your job Monday through Friday, put that same work into your business. So hope that helped. Thank you for watching my video and make sure you hit that like button if you liked the video because I know you did and also hit subscribe and right beside that subscribe button is going to be a notification bell. You got to click that because guess what? You never know when I'm going to go live. As a matter of fact, I might go live right now. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss my videos. All right. And if you want to start or grow your business, check out cleanbiznetwork.com, all right? We have cleaning business starter kits. We have a lead generation service to help you grow your cleaning business, all type of stuff. And also, don't forget to download the Calculated Clean mobile app as well, all right? So that's what I got for y'all until you click another video and go watch, man. Watch another video. Why not? Binge on it. Let's go.